Okay, my uh, first attempt to uh, start the tractor failed. It wouldn't even crank, but I think I know what the problem is. These switches are, can be annoying because that terminal there rotates sometimes when you're trying to t tighten down the, the cable connector and it's rotating to the point where uh, the switch cannot make full contact, neither can it contact the terminal on the starter. So I'm going to straighten that out and uh, see if we can't reinstall this thing and see what happens. Well, you've heard the expression, uh, won the battle but lost the war. I got the starter fixed, the engine fired up immediately. Uh, well, not exactly. When I engaged the starter, the, the tractor lurched forward. I said, oops. So I crawl up in the seat and uh, depress the clutch. The engine starts right up, runs very smooth, very nice. However, I am always in forward gear. And there is no reverse, and even neutral is in a forward gear. So obviously I have installed the gears incorrectly, which means I'm going to have to disassemble the transmission and uh, start all over. Well, at least not start all over. I'll have to take a look at the gear sequencing and find out which one I installed incorrectly. Well, very disappointing tonight, but uh, we'll get started on this again uh, probably tomorrow. And if anybody's got any thoughts or advice, I'm open. Thanks for well, it's outside. Seems to be running pretty smooth. Don't want to take it out on the road. It's dark. I don't have my uh, slow moving vehicle sign up. I'm also a little perplexed. I'm going to call the problem to start with. Victory, nevertheless, after last night's uh, demoralizing failure, and I'll report here in a minute uh, what I did to fix it. Pulled off the uh, transmission cover and examined uh, my gear placement and alignment along the counter shaft, and everything was in order. Uh, but I and but I had to manually move the gears along the shaft to put it in a neutral position. So I took the uh, uh, the the shifters and the forks, shifter mechanism and forks, and reseated them back onto the into the case. And what it did was it shoved the uh, in the neutral position. It shoved the gears about a quarter of an inch forward, uh, locking them out. So I just pulled the shifter mechanism out and again and looked at it and examined it, banged it around a little bit, and then I was going to uh, try to determine well maybe there's these things uh, require an adjustment. So. I, and you, you gotta love this stuff. I mean, the uh, the manual talks about shifter rails and forks. And it said methods of checking and overhauling the shifter rails and forks are conventional. Well, that may be fine for you, bud, but for a city boy, I had no earthly idea. But I did disassemble them um, just just based on um, how the parts came uh, came out and uh, cleaned them up and put them all back in. That was some time ago. Here's the spooky part. I didn't really do anything. I just reseated them back into the transmission case for the third time, and now the tractor works just perfect. What what scares me though, if this thing fails uh, once, it may fail again. So if anybody's got any thoughts on making sure these uh, shifter rails and forks are, are properly adjusted, I would appreciate it. But in any event, it's good news tonight. I, uh, some of you old guys may remember the ABC Wide World, Wide World of Sports where it says a thrill of victory followed by the agony of defeat. Well, this is reverse. Last night it was the agony of defeat, but now we're, we're celebrating the thrill of victory. Good night, all.